all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today again and again we ask the same question and maybe one day we will find the answer who is this guy his name is Allah Muslims they give us speeches about why we should worship this God this God he said worship me you ask a Muslim who is this God he says he is the one who created you do you see you say to him do you have a proof then he keep his mouth shut Muhammad said Allah is God do Muhammad have a proof that even he is a prophet did even Muhammad spoke to his God no did he see his God no did he hear even the fart of his God no so how Muhammad will teach us about a God he himself he never met he never saw he never heard how somebody will witness to somebody but the somebody himself he never saw somebody he never heard somebody he do not know that body Our Skype is open if there is a Muslim on a call only Muslims, please and for the Christians Please give me a break from saying hello and hi. I Have like 300 messages and when I click at each one of them it says hello add me Hi Christian Prince My Skype is exist for a reason so Muslims can call me or those who they are ex-Muslims and If necessarily a Christian but not to say to me hi, please I hope you understand now who is a Muslim when I give us a call and tell us who is this God Allah your God Allah even do not know how the snow is created he think that there's a mountain in heaven and he breaks snow from there and he throw it at us how your God can be a God he does not even know how the snow is made he have a storage in the heaven and he break the snow from the mountains he have in heaven and then he throw it at us by the way the most funny weather news in the world is the Islamic news in Saudi Arabia because it's haram to predict the future the Muslims will kill you so look what the news guy he say in the TV by the will of Allah inshallah tomorrow if Allah will the wind between the speed is going to be between the speed that the 20 and 25 mile an hour if and only if Allah will and if Allah will we might have a sandstorm if and only if Allah will and if Allah will the temperature might be between 23 to, 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 to 24 if if Allah will I mean he have to to have to add will of Allah otherwise they will kill him they will say are you try your prophesying are you claiming that you know that tomorrow he will lose his head the poor guy so the news weather in Saudi Arabia is like a comedy show the guy he is doing in doing poop in his panty each time he say is going to be he have to say by Allah will otherwise he is gone he is finito he is history now if we look at Allah prophecy in the Quran we will find that Allah he have no idea what he is talking about so who is a Muslim when I give us a call and show us any proof that Allah is God Any Muslim? Any Muslim would like to do so? Who is a Muslim is listening, please. We will speak to you nicely and friendly and don't be intimidated. I mean, Allah will help you, my friend. Allah is God, right? He is the one who created everything. Even the cockroaches which attacking Kaaba, 
yesterday and the night before uh, Allah created them you should see the comment of Muslims about the cockroaches attacking the Kaaba we seek forgiveness from Allah may Allah forgive us for our sin brother this is happening brother because the crown prince he allowed the women to sing in TV brother I mean okay let me let me understand this very well you're a crown prince he allow a woman to sing on the stage Allah he sent cockroaches on his holy house what about he sent them to the house of the prince I mean do you Muslims have a brain so Allah seek revenge from the prince by sending the cockroaches against his Kaaba what about you send it to the prince or the women who sing in the stage the women she sing in her stage she have a nice villa and there's nothing there it's a cockroach is free so what kind of Allah he revenge from the people by sending cockroaches against his house well this is his house this is not the house of the neighbor so imagine I get upset from you and I say cockroaches attack the house of a Christian prince but I, I'm upset from you is Allah upset from himself or from you? Anyway, I hope the cockroaches will leave the Kaaba alone. And uh, by the way, if you can post links for the cockroaches, they might find it more interesting than the Kaaba. I mean, what is there? Why the cockroaches are even coming there? There's no food. There's no, I mean, there's nothing. Share link, please. Share link. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? No, you know, according to the Quran, all creatures are Muslims, so I would not be surprised if they are doing Hajj. I mean, this is not fair. Muhammad Sayyid. Huh. Muhammad Sayyid, he want to talk to me. What Muhammad Sayyid we want? You want? Call me. Okay. Let us see what Muhammad Sayyid wrote. Answer, buddy. Cockroaches will answer before he answer. So what you say to me? Call me. Unbelievable. Call me. Answer me. Show me. Oh. Please show us about Ibrahim and Ibrahim, Abraham and Ibrahim, the Arabic Quran, Muslim, close to leave Islam. All right, no problem. So your friend, he says to you, if I show him about Ibrahim, he will leave Islam? You said that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm. Okay, let's find it. No problem. Hold on. Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Do you hear me, Muhammad? Muhammad, yes, if your yes. mic is not working, say inshallah. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. How are you? <laughs> what is that? Are you okay? I thought you are a man. You turned to be a kid. All right. We block you. Somebody says that there is a Muslim. He is willing to leave Islam if we can show him that the Quran say Ibrahim and Abraham. This is your Islamic website. Islam. Q, uh, Q info Islam ka info 
لماذا وردت إبراهيم في سورة البقرة بدون ياء وفي باقي السور بالياء Let us open Google Translation so people who don't, don't speak Arabic because as you see the topic in Arabic what we can do I mean Let us open Google Translation so we can translate You know before we used to post a link and the, uh, Google translate the whole link I don't know if that's still working Is it still working? We can translate translate uh, a site maybe let's see search for a site Okay uh, We will try this we will try to post the whole site and see if that will work. I don't know So if we go here Copy I will try to translate the whole site And uh, No Arabic from Arabic it looked like it doesn't work this way, but we will try I don't know Ah, here we go translating That's wonderful. Why did the word Ibrahim appear in Surat Al-Baqarah without? Yeah, not J in the Surat of Al-Hajr All right uh, uh, Which is translation here is not uh, not really coming correctly, you know there's no Hajar. This is, uh, you know, in the rest of the surahs, it says uh, all the surahs is coming with Ya, but in one surah is coming as Abraham. There's no Ya. There's no Ibrahim. Why the word Ibrahim appear in Surah Al-Baqarah without Ya, not J, and the rest of the Holy Quran is coming with Ya? Praise be to Allah. The word Ibrahim come in the Quran from two forms of drawing. What a drawing this is a name what a, what a drawing it's a name do you draw a name either the name with yeah or without yeah as you see here the first Abraham you see it without yeah no, I click at the thing it make uh, why is that happening here okay so you see here with me uh, are you there the one who asked me for show show the proof Are you there? My friend, we don't we don't lie when we say something, but those Muslims are, are crazy people. They have no idea what's written in their book. When a Christian prince he says, Yes, in the Quran, sometimes the word Ibrahim is written as Ibrahim would yeah, and sometimes written as Abraham. We are not making things up. And they will say to you that they bend in the Quran you read So some Quran the Quran is made in Syria is written at Abraham the Quran is written in Morocco is made as Abraham The Quran is made in Saudi is written Abraham So they bend in the in the location the Muslims are playing with the name why because Muhammad simply he himself He is not the author of the Quran So sometimes it's Ibrahim sometimes it's Abraham and there's there's a different now you will see here is the text uh, clear guys for you can you read the text is the text clear you see it now here they will try to show you why it's written like this because a drawing depend in the location uh, uh, you know and uh, uh, in, in, here we go see uh, look what it says look at this funny I mean this is the book of God what Morocco have to do with a change in the way of writing it so if we change the location of the Quran but in the rest of the Quran is Bella and Morocco written? Oh, what? I don't know what is that translation here. It's funny. You know, Google Translate really funny. Here they say Iraq. Okay, so the word Abraham without Yah is written in such a way. 
in the Quran of Iraq, the Quran of of uh, of Syria, Asham and Jordan and Israel, etc. This is Syria. This is the natural Syria. And but the rest on the uh, uh, you know uh, of the Quran is written uh, with yeah. Okay, so now we have a problem. If Allah is the author of the Quran. How he pronounced it once, Abraham, and he pronounced it once, Ibrahim. And what happened exactly? It's a name. And the name should be as it is. And we are not talking about, because simply when the Muslim, they write it in such a way, supposedly this is how Allah, he said it. So where is your friend, the one who said he will leave Islam if we show? Did he decide to leave Islam, my friend? You know, the funny, you see, I make the Muslims excited, to be honest with you. A Muslim, he challenged me, show me, show me. And then I say, no, I need to find it for you. And then, no, show me, show me. And then, no, no, I, you know, I want to find it. So he get excited. And then we say to him, you will leave Islam if I show it to you? <laughs> And then he get more excited. Yes, I will leave Islam if you show me, because now he think I don't have anything like this. You know, he's more con because otherwise, if a Christian prince he have it, why he don't show it to me? You know, I mean, come on, All right? You have to make him excited. It's like a, it's like a rooster. You know, the rooster. If you run in front of him, he think he is strong, and you think he think really you are running away from him. Just run in front of the rooster, and he will chase you. We think he is a like he is a beast, but he's just a rooster. Now, do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muslim have a comment? Why the Quran sometimes say Ibrahim, sometimes you say Abraham. What is the problem? Your God, even your God cannot pronounce a name. Hmm? All right. My name is Abdul. You are running away. Debate me. I don't think you are a debate me. I think you are a guy who want to curse. Maybe let us give you a chance. You curse. You curse in the name of your God. Who cares? Hello. Hello. Yes, Abdul. Pull a mama, mama, jiggy, jiggy. Hmm. Well, obviously your mama is a good mama. She did a lot of jiggy jiggy to have you. May Allah bless her jiggy jiggy and keep her jiggy jiggy working so we can have more of you. And supposedly you made Islam look better now? Jiggy jiggy? I'm really, really convinced that you are a jiggy jiggy guy. Jiggy jiggy Baba, jiggy jiggy Mama, jiggy jiggy Muslim, jiggy jiggy Allah, jiggy jiggy Muhammad, jiggy jiggy garbage, jiggy jiggy always, jiggy jiggy always. I mean, how many jiggy jiggy you want to do every day? Okay. Do we have any Muslim? Okay, I am an ex-Muslim from India. Okay, thank you very much for the kind words. All right. Okay. 
So do we have any... Uh, any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Say something good for us about his God. Guys, don't send me text and message in Skype and say, are you online? Just subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to, to Facebook, and you will know if I am online. I want to say thank you for all those who support and uh, they like what I do from Indonesia. We love you all. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a friend from Tunisia. He is uh, encouraging me to do more, and he is saying he is appreciate really what we do. Thank you very much from Tunisia. Uh, but still, we are waiting for Abdul to call us and tell us something about his God. The only Abdul he called me until now is a Jiggy Jiggy. Jiggy Jiggy. We ask him about Allah. He said Jiggy Jiggy. Hmm. By the way, I'm convinced that this God is a jiggy jiggy God. You know, you believe in Him, you bend over five times a day, and then what you what you do? You go to heaven, you do jiggy jiggy. He bring you women have no panties. Jiggy jiggy time. Jiggy jiggy heaven. Jiggy jiggy time. Jiggy jiggy open. Jiggy jiggy off. Jiggy jiggy on. Jiggy jiggy take it. Jiggy jiggy break it. Jiggy jiggy bring it. Jiggy jiggy stop. Jiggy jiggy bottom. Jiggy jiggy stand. Jiggy jiggy go. Jiggy jiggy. I mean, jiggy jiggy. This is a jiggy land. I mean, what you can say? I mean, this is amazing. We have a God. He promised a jiggy jiggy. Who can reject that? You call me in heaven. You say, Hey, Christian Prince, why you are not opening your life stream, brother? I say, I'm doing jiggy jiggy, brother. Let me call Zach and I can ask him if you like to go and do jiggy jiggy with us. I told you one time that time don't call me. How, how you know it's me? I know you. I know you. Even my phone start doing jiggy jiggy when you call me. How, how, what do you mean the phone doing jiggy jiggy? I'm telling you the second you call me, my phone start doing jiggy jiggy. And I know exactly it's you. Brother, this is like a miracle. So your phone do jiggy jiggy just because I just called you? Absolutely, and I can prove it to you. How you can prove it to me? If you go to the Quran, chapter two, but then chapter ten, it said that jiggy jiggy Christian prince. Unbelievable! In the Quran, it says that about jiggy jiggy and about Christian prince. Absolutely. And brother Zetar, this guy he will call you jiggy jiggy, and the jiggy jiggy of Allah is the best jiggy. Don't sell it to him. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Thank you. What the heck? Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? How many of you fell from the chair already? Be honest with me. <laughs> you know, once I was doing a seminar in the Philippines, and there was a guy, he is really big, huge, you know, like he's maybe 350, you know, Kilo is like half of a truck. The guy he starts laughing and he cannot breathe no more. You know, I mean, like the guy is laughing, dying from laughing, literally. So he could not control himself, and the chairs are, are plastic, you know, they are cheap, not really good quality. So he fell down, but when he fell down, he opened his arms trying to hold himself from failing. But by doing that, he pushed all the, the chairs and everybody opened his arm too. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So the whole line fell down <laughs> in the church. <laughs> From like from from like laughing like crazy. I mean, they, they said, "Please stop, please, please stop, please, please." Unbelievable. There is once I was talking about the description of paradise and how everybody would look like Joseph, and I said, "Any one of you here? His name is Joseph. A guy. He he put his hand up. I said, stand up, please.'" And he smiled, he have all his fourth teeth is gone in the front. <laughs> so he said, Are you saying to me they will look like me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all of us will look we will look like joseph and joseph he is he have no teeth you know he's very funny and by the way he's not like he's, he did not got offended because even he's making fun of himself he's saying are you saying they will look like me i my name is yutif <laughs> oh boy and people they start crying i mean laughing they, they they told me usually we go to seminar we sleep we snore you know i mean boring but the second you enter to the second you leave you are laughing and people are dying from laughing and it, and it's hot there you know this is this is a country hot, it's hot country so you will see people sweating i mean like this is this is not what we expected we we thought we are going here to uh, if we know this is this is what will happen we will bring the neighbors too <laughs> anyway jiggy jiggy uh prince how are you prince yeah you can call me my friend you can call me to my skype just text me first and i will call you you need to use a skype to call me and my id in skype dbtv and please call me when you see me only on air because if i'm not on air my skype is off <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim who tells us who is Allah? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim who tells us who is Allah? I really am really interested to know who is Allah. I'm asking the questions for many, many years. And until now, I got the most funny answers. Even Allah himself, by the way, who do not know who is Allah. Uh, you know, people ask me questions in Skype, an ex Muslim asking me a question. Any Muslim would like to call us, my friend? Any beautiful Muslim or handsome Muslim? By the way, do you know why I say beautiful Muslim or handsome Muslim? There's a reason. I'm not insulting. The Prophet Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala When the Prophet Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sallam. When the Prophet Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sallam. When the Prophet Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sallam. Because we cannot say his name without adding like a, a, tr a truck behind him with prior on him and we have I mean stop saying his name man we go to the topic okay when the Prophet Muhammad are we going to start talking I mean give me a break what what is the question what is the topic okay I'm not going to say his name to avoid that the, the truck will come behind the load when he said Allahumma salli wa sallam that a Muslim woman, she is not allowed to shave her mustache. A Muslim woman who take hair from her face, Allah will curse her. That give me no choice but to say, a handsome Muslim and a beautiful Muslim. A Muslim man is allowed to shave his beard, even his mustache. But a Muslim woman, she is not allowed, my friend, to take off any hair from her face which is very logical i mean enough is enough man those women these days they became so much i mean so much uh, fame we need we need to find for for like that's it we have enough we need to have to find the women who have a beard hello hello yes my friend yeah. go ahead uh, CPA, I'm, I'm not a Muslim, I'm Christian, but I want to take five minutes of your time. All right. Possible. Why not four? Okay, so Why not four times? Uh, four, three, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you say, you ask Muslims, who is Allah? Mm. Okay, and we as Arab Christians, mm. uh, we, we worship Allah. So mm. in the Bible, we read his name uh, over and over again. Mm. So, uh, so how uh, you can explain that, uh, who is Allah for us? Okay, let me ask you a question first. What do you think about Muhammad? 
Oh, he's stupid ass. Okay. Well, I will answer you about that. First of all, okay. in the real Bible, we have nothing to do with Allah. The, the one you are reading, this is a translation. The Bible okay. for us is not the Arabic Bible translated by some people who try to make, uh, they are being playing taqiyya. You know, taqiyya, taqiyya, taqiyya Islamic taqiyya. Yeah, of course, yeah. So Arabic, the, uh, the, 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 the Arab, you and me, we are under the occupation of Muslims for centuries. Is that correct? Yes, of course. Okay, and okay. we've been forced to say things. Imagine if you live under ISIS for one week, what will happen? Just one week. Okay. Okay, they will make you, will you say any name you they, they wish, not the name you like. So okay. the name of Allah, which the Arab Christians are forced to use for centuries, have nothing to do with their God. If you go and read the Bible in Aramaic, you will not find that word is exist, neither in the Hebrew, neither in the Greek. So who is Allah? Okay, but why the church does not uh, correct it now? Because it became yeah. a tradition for centuries. They are using the same same time. It's kind of uh, uh, where people they used to it, and now, like you know, maybe even in your house, you say Allah, correct? Yeah, well, we say inshallah. Yeah, okay. For me, I don't say inshallah. You know, okay. I reject that because this, oh, this is wrong. So, okay, so so we worship Yahweh. We as we don't Christians worship, worship Allah. Yahweh. Allah is a you know. I understand that Arab Christians are using the the word as a word mean God. Okay. But it's not a name. But this is wrong because at the end of the day, this is the name of the God of Islam. So. Okay. You know, uh, 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 if you ask your uh, your your bishop, I mean, why in the world where where this word Allah is coming from? Can okay. you show it to me? Like, or can you show it to me in the in the in the Hebrew Bible? Can you show it to me in the Aramaic Bible? Do you can you show me where Jesus said Allah? So okay. this is all is coming because of the Islamic occupation, including your language. You know, I don't know from which mm -hmm. country you are. You will find that yeah. most of the uh, Christians who call themselves Arab Christian, they are not even Arab. You know, they are forced to speak Arabic. You know, there's a okay. there's a river in Egypt. It's called Damanhur. Have you ever heard of mm -hmm. it? Do you know no. why the name is called Damanhur? Uh, no. Dam is mean blood, right? Dam. Ah, Damanhur. Yeah, Damanhur. Dam Simply, the no, Muslims no. they start killing Christians. Dam and Hur. Okay. To the point, the rivers was the 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 the, the blood was running like rivers. This is what Damanhur mean. Okay. Mascaras. So, in order to force an Arabic language and to force Islamic culture and Islamic belief and Islamic and even the name of their God, they made mm -hmm. blood run like rivers. And until now, the Christians in all of those Middle Eastern countries, they are suffering badly by terrorist attack, kidnapping, killing, you know, etc. Yeah, I'm still living in the Middle East, and I know yeah. what you are talking so about. So, you say Allah still want to kill you. So, imagine if you don't say Allah. Okay, so so we as Christians we worship Yahweh. We don't worship. For, for first of all, our God, our God. Yeah, we don't have really a name. You see that in the, in the Bible there is no name. When when Moses asked, uh, uh, when he uh, who has asked uh, God, what I will call you, what I will say, say your name. He said, I am. So the name, which is it's it's not a name really. It's a presentation of how 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 God he present himself. Allah in the for the Muslims. Contain two words. It is al and la is not one word. Al, okay. al, mean God, in the old ancient Hebrew. Let us mm -hmm. type it here. Al, la. This is why, if we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran have al uzza, al lat, right? Mm -hmm. Al lat and al uzza. They are goddess. Why we have al before is, them? Uh, a third god, the, the god of death, what was uh, the name? Manat. Of god? Manat. Yeah. Why there is no al? Before because it's a god of death. It's, so if it's it's a, if it is a god of death, uh, death. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they, because it's a scary. You don't even they say the name before it. Otherwise, it's going to be like it's it's a it's a it's a fiction. You know, it's like uh, if you say the name with the with the with the like the same as the others. Uh, mm -hmm. You are making it equal to the others, and this is a God we hate. We don't want. But okay. He is there, you know. He is there. Okay. We don't want this God in our life, so we don't we don't say Al, you know. So Allah uh, Al uh, Al and sometimes the Al appear in the beginning. Sometimes mm -hmm. the Al appear at the end. As an example, Bal, Bal, mm -hmm. Ba Al, you know, Al. So Al mm. is always a word meaning God, but now in Arabic, if you read Al, you will think it says like now. If you see in the same in the same screen with me, you will see it says Al Bukhari. Yeah, but now in Arabic, if you read Al, if you, you mute YouTube, please. Now, 
Can you see the same screen with me? Mute, okay. you too. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. All right. So, Al in Arabic yeah. is uh, today is used as a word mean or two letters as mean uh, uh, that in English. But yeah. in the old, the name, because this name is not Arabic, have nothing to do with the Arab. This is a stolen names from other belief and other cultures. Allah is the God, the moon God, which spread all over the Middle East, all the way to Egypt, all the way to Yemen, all the way to Iraq, all the way to Turkey, all the way even to the middle of Asia. Mm. All right. So always okay, in the in the in the ocean in the ancient languages, there is either they use yeah as a word meaning God, yeah, mm. or L. And then later L became ill. So now when you say Emmanuel, God is with us. We add ill. So we say Gabriel, uh, Mikael, Israel, right? But before in the ancient Hebrew, it was not Israel, it was Israel. It was not Gabriel, it was Gabriel. It was it was not Mikael, it was Mikael. Are you getting my point? All right. Anything yeah. else, my friend? Uh, yes, uh, one more thing uh, about the uh, Aleph, uh, actually. Uh, for instance, in the Quran, uh, there is a place where it is written, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and the Rahman, they don't put a, a Aleph uh, after the meme, they put uh, the Hamza, uh, Fatha. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, uh, no, there is, there is, is Aleph, actually. No, there is, there is Aleph, there is Aleph, but, it, but it's drawing it's small. Aleph. Yeah, there is. If you go, first of all, you will see that Bism, if you see with me okay. in the screen, this is Bitsim, right? Yeah. Chapter one, verse number one. If we zoom in, you will see that Ar Rahman. Here, there is, there is, there is a, 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 like, the way it's written is to to ease the pronunciation, which means the Muslim they change the way the Quran given to Muhammad was not like this. So, they, they, if you ask them why you did that, they say to you, just to make it easier for pronunciation. So here, Bitsim, there was Alif, so it should be Bism. Right. Okay. Actually, if you Present write it, if you if you write it in exam, in, if you are doing an uh, Arabic exam, you write it bism, just because it's written in the Quran the same way they will let it go. But if, but in fact, it's wrong to write it this way. Then you will see here a Rahman. Do you see a short alif? Do no. you see the short uh, one? Oh yeah. 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 That's the alif. So a Rahman is not really written this way. A Rahman written with a, which means it's going to be like this, not like what they have it for us in the screen. So a Rahman will be like that. Al Rah. Man, so my question actually if there is a name missing in Bism and uh, supposedly in Ar Rahman, the Alif is also missing. Mm -hmm. So, is it possible that the old Arabic language uh, sometimes they move the Alif and it is removed no. in the name of Allah? No, no, so instead, what? No, no, this is this is this is their, their this is their fabrication because I can show you even from the Quran itself today, the one they have today. That BSM is still exists. If we search for BSM, we will find that mm. BSM is still there. It's not gone. I mean, they did not. Nobody took it off. Do you see it? Chapter fifty-six, verse number seventy-four. Do you see it? BSM. Not yet. Not yet. The screen didn't load uh, yet. Do you see uh, how it changed? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's still there. So Nothing changed. The, only, okay. only for the opening of the the Quran. They change mm. the BSM to make it more easier because mm. the Muslim they sing the Quran. So if I say Bismillah, so it's like it's not good, yeah. you know. So they make it to make it smooth. So they fabricate the language and they change it and they took the letter off to make it easier mm. to read and to pronounce. All right, and okay. this is appear in many places in the Quran, as you see, like uh, uh, here, like uh, we have four verses at least. It shows the word BSM. Mm. All right. Okay, thank you so much, Chris. And uh, maybe I wasted your time, but uh, no, I you did not waste my time. I'm happy to help you if I can. You know, okay. no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any uh, any Muslim who tell us who is Allah? Hmm. Anyone? You see, Muslims, when they speak about the religion, they speak uh, fictions. There's no knowledge. They don't even know how they're how things came to existence. 
you know okay you need to have information you have this information exposed right. we don't have time for kids <clears throat> Muslims always, they speak with no knowledge. They have their mouth running, speaking about God, but they do not know who is their God. If any Muslim right now, he call me, and I, you know, and he said to him, okay, I will say to him, give me a chapter you are very knowledgeable about. You will see he have no idea what to say about the chapter he chose for me. Muhammad himself do not know his religion. If we ask Muhammad, who is Allah? Can Muhammad even give us an answer? Right? If you go in the Quran and we type the word Allah, you will find how the Quran gives us a very funny presentation to this God. From the first verse in the Quran, Allah says in the name of Allah. Have you ever heard of God saying in the name of Allah? If He is if He is Allah, how He say in the name of Allah? Obviously, the one who wrote the Quran trying to present to us a God his name is Allah but yet he forgot to switch the person speaking because if I am talking I don't say in the name of Allah if I am Allah and you will see the rest of the verses always come in that it is somebody speaking about Allah chapter 2 verse number 7 as an example which is very funny and very stupid and you see I'm choosing random verses Allah has sealed their hearing and their hearts. Now here you will notice right away that the one is talking supposed to is Allah. So how Allah he says Allah sealed their hearing. Aren't you Allah? Same time. If you are the one who sealed my hearing and my heart and my eyes, so what is the problem? Is that my problem or your problem? Why you seal my eyes? Why you see in my heart? You know what I mean? So you see our heart, and here again we see that Allah uh, cannot be the one who's talking. There's somebody, the one who made the Quran, speaking about his God, and his God is Allah. And this is refute that the the, the 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 theory the Muslim they bring to us that the Quran is the word of Allah because there's no way Allah will say Allah has sealed their their heart. He will say I sealed their heart. Unless this is Muhammad making their own statement and claiming that it's coming from God. Remember, the Muslims don't believe that there is here written words of a prophet. Every word in the Quran is coming from the God they call him Allah. So how Allah he says something. Hmm? And the Quran is full of madness like this. If you read just the verses before it, you will see how the Quran is made by a foolish man. These depend on the guidance from their God. These are the successful. Okay. They depend. They depend. This is a translation. But the guidance of their Lord. But who is the one who guide people to, to his guidance? The Quran says it clearly that it is he who guide and he is the one who misguide. So look how funny this religion. We have a guy when I call me, maybe he is GGG, GGG, GGG. Let us see, maybe GGG. Yes, my friend. Are you there? 
All right. Got a bunch of kids. Who is next? Are Muslims worshipping the moon or they are worshipping Allah? No, the Muslims don't worship the moon. They worship the moon god. And there's the difference. The moon god is the god of the moon. The moon have a god. The sun have a god. The moon god married from the sun god and they have three girls, three daughters, Al-Lat and Al-Uzza and Manat. All right? So the Muslims don't worship the moon. The most the Muslims now for sure they say to you we worship Allah, we don't worship you know the moon god, but this is the origin of this religion. Most of the Muslims they have no idea really what they are worshipping. You know, they don't know what they are worshipping. I never saw any Muslim he knows what, what he's worshipping. If you ever see a Muslim he knows what he's worshipping, let me know. I never met anyone, he knows what he is worshipping. This is what we are saying here. Here we go. We have almost 900 people watching. And we are asking the Muslims who knows who is Allah not a single one of them he dared to call us each time I made the topic with this such a name the Muslim call ask them about sex they will call you ask them about shaving and their arms they will call you you ask them who is Allah bingo they disappear Look at this verse as an example. Lu O Muhammad. Lu O Muhammad. Guidest not whom thou lovest, but Allah guides who he will. What is that? Muhammad was guiding specific people he, he loved, or he was guiding everybody, supposedly. And we find that it's not Muhammad, it's not Islam, it's not the Quran. Because Muhammad, how he guide people? He don't guide him people supposedly. He gives them the Quran. And then it says here to us that Allah is the one who guide. It's not you, okay? So that's mean Allah. He is selective in who he guide. And this is what the whole Quran says. To the point, even Muhammad, Allah said to him. Are you going to guide those who Allah misguide? Do you see it? Are you seeking guide to those who Allah look, look at the Muslim false translation? They say the one who Allah sends astray. What does that mean? In Arabic, it says Allah, which means he deceive. So, are you going to guide those who Allah He deceived? Are you stupid or what? So, Shaitan is not the one who misguide people in Islam. It is Allah or Allah. And the Quran say that repeatedly. You cannot guide the one who I misguide. I misguide him, and you want to guide him? And the funny, if you change the translation, which is made by the translator, you will notice how the whole verse changed suddenly. Because Islam is nothing but a fiction written in many languages, and they try to present to you Islam in the way they like. Let us change to Shakir, Shakir, Muhammad Shakir. What is matter with you? What is matter with you? Huh? That you have become two parties about the hypocrites while Allah has made them return to unbelief it's Allah who made them return to unbelief <laughs> so why are you playing the devil who is the one who made them return to unbelief Allah for what they have earned okay I thought you see, when they speak to Jesus about speaking to the to the the, the Pharisees, the, the, they were accusing him about speaking to those who collect tax, etc. Uh, uh, Jesus said, "I came to the sick, not to the healthy one." 
and that is the right thing so if they are sick why you don't want to guide them I thought Islam is coming to 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 bring the sick one to the truth to guide people but as you see here it's the opposite and then suppose the Allah is talking saying do you wish do you wish to guide him who has Allah cursed to err and this is a false translation again what cursed her so Allah he cursed me so to I will go I will I will not be a belief in Arabic it says Allah which means Allah he deceived and who caused him to be deceived at and man are you going to guide those who Allah deceive it's Allah who deceived them and here he continue woman you will Allah who fell and and those who Allah deceive nobody can guide them and who is ever Allah caused to err you see how they try to fabricate the translation to make it but it's the same I mean cause to err why Allah want to cause me to err so what, what is the job of the devil if the one who will make you commit sin is Allah so why you blame the devil for all the sin we do in our life are you guys following with me do we understand do we have any Muslim have any comment what kind of God is God he is the one who caused us to commit sin and then he will punish us for committing sin and he is the one who sent the prophet to guide us out of sin but he is the one saying to the prophet you cannot guide the one who I misguide what is that is that a game do we have any Muslim have anything to call any Muhammadan it's a jiggy jiggy day we have a Muslim until now he called us and he was singing for us jiggy jiggy now this is jiggy jiggy I mean this God is a crazy God he took a lot of marijuana and a lot of hashish hmm anyone can I ask you a question can I give you an answer let us wait first maybe we can get a Muslim to call us and then if there's no Muslims we can take calls from Christians do we have any Abdul this is this is a statement of somebody taking too much hashish Hashish. This is Hashish. This God, He don't want us to be guided. And this God is angry from Muhammad trying to guide the one he misguided and saying to him, Are you stupid or what? Hmm? Let us see if somebody is trying to call us. Hmm. You want to debate? Yeah, right. Do we have any Muslim? We have the same guy. He keep changing his name, like GK Jiggy guy. You know, the one who wanna call just to be a kid. We don't have until now any serious Muslim he dare to call us. The only thing we have is a jiggy jiggy.
anyone how many Muslims will leave Islam this week I don't know I have no idea anyone he make a statement of racism right away block him not even don't give him time out if somebody make a racist statement don't give him time out just to block him it doesn't matter who is he we don't allow any bad language here no need even to give him a warning anyone he make a, a racism uh, uh, comment he is not a christian for us he is a fake muslim he's a muslim maybe who is the one who made racism statement copy it for me please Let us see. I will go back in text. Be careful. You say something stupid, we block you. We send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Now, do we have any Muslim? We have a Muslim, he called himself Jasmine. My friend, I know that you are a scam. I know you are a, you are a, you are an idiot. You watch too much jiggy jiggy movies. Jasmine, what does that mean? You are a Muslim man, and your name is Jasmine. Joyce, I mean, the heaven of Allah have a big impact on you. Do we have any Abdul here? Hello? Hello? Hmm. I'm really disappointed. Until now, we got nothing except Jasmine. She want to call me to debate me. And Jasmine, is, she is, uh, she is, she want to debate me in her land jury. And because of that, I'm scared. Do we have any Muslim who tell us who is Allah? Anyone? You can say porn? Sure you can say porn. My friend, the Quran is full of porn. Even the Quran describe how and what is inside the vagina which Allah will give you in the heaven. You believe it? But we can say the word if it is in contact of, of, of a topic, not like to speak filthy. All right. So we don't allow people to speak filthy just to be filthy. If I say the word vagina as an example, I am not being filthy because the Quran say the word vagina. And if I have to read it, it's there. If Muhammad he says that his penis was weak, I mean, what I will say, his GG was weak. I have to say penis. So when you want to say something, you have to have you have to have a reason to say it, not because suddenly we are talking about uh, food and suddenly you say penis, then we will block you and we will send you out of here. All right. Um, singing is not is not halal. You see the funny. Uh, Muhammad he say uh, that uh, music is haram but Muhammad himself he used to have women playing and dancing for him you know uh, let me see if I can find you some hadith here for for that um, Oh, 
Okay. see actually there's a hadith where uh, where Muhammad even uh, he have Aisha in his shoulder and she was watching girls uh, playing let us see some reference oh. first one cannot be found here in this website all right let us uh, search for something else What differentiate between the lawful and unlawful is the duff and the voice singing for wedding. Anybody understand anything? Let us try to understand. At the time of Fajr prayer, the Prophet asked Bilal, tell me of the best deed you did after embracing Islam, for I heard your footsteps in the front of me in paradise. Bilal replied, I did not do anything worth mentioning except what when that whenever I performed ablution during the day or night, I prayed after the ablution as much as written for me. Hmm. What is the translation for ah, this is why the word deaf here, the funa lake, the music if you're okay. Let us see here. The Messenger of Allah went out for one of his expedition. Then when he came back, a black slave girl came to him and said, Oh Allah Messenger, I took an oath that if Allah returned you safely, I would beat the duff before you and singing and sing. So the Messenger of Allah said to her, If you have taken an oath, then beat it. And if you have not, then do not <laughs> so she started to be the deaf and Abu Bakr enter so that means she and the and Muhammad alone in the room they are alone uh, according to the story here so Abu Bakr entered while she was beating it which means she is playing the the, the drum the deaf mean drum uh, then Ali entered while she is she was beating it and then Uthman entered it while she was beating it then Omar as you, are you going to count the whole tribe then Omar entered so she put the death under her because Omar is a scary person she got terrified so the message of Allah said indeed a shaitan is afraid of you Omar you believe it so Muhammad here he is saying that this black woman she is a shaitan playing in music for him when the women this black slave and here we notice the Muslim they say to us Islam is against slavery this is a black slave this is one of the black slaves owned by Muhammad himself she is trying to be nice to her boss so he will be ease on her so she said I made an oath if you come back safely I'm going to play and sing for you Muhammad said go ahead and then the visitors start coming one after one one after one and when Omar he enter Omar scared the hell of this poor slave girl and she put the drum down she stopped and then Muhammad he look at Omar he says indeed a shaitan is afraid of you which means Satan oh Omar I was sitting while she beat and then Abu Bakr entered while she was beating it and Ali entered while she was beating it then Uthman entered while she is beating it then when you entered oh Omar she put away the death 
And here we notice the hypocrisy of Muhammad. Muhammad, he made it clear that if you play music, you go to hell. Muslim, they say to us that being with the women, she is not your wife alone, is haram. But a slave girl is lawful in Islam, not only should to dance for you, to strip for you, to have sex with you, music is halal. And you will notice here, we have a, 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 like not only Muhammad who owned a slave, it's not only the slave owner enjoying the slave, dancing or singing, Muhammad and his friends, all of them, they are coming and the poor women standing and dancing or playing for them. And none of them, he said, this is haram. And she was singing, as you see in the hadith. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Hello? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I was going to uh, try to discuss the the Abraham story from the Quran. Okay, what about uh, the Abraham story? Uh, that supposedly from the Torah version, it's uh, Abraham was told to sacrifice his son yeah. by God. Are you a Muslim first, my friend? Yes, yes, and uh, revert uh, to what? What revert mean? What does that mean? Uh, it means I have uh, uh, reverted back to the original. But what is the original? Islam. Islam is the original. How, I... how Islam is the original? Well, we believe you see, you, are, you, you just mentioned to me Abraham. You just mentioned to me Abraham. Did Abraham kiss the stones? Uh, that, that's a hadith uh, that I, it's, that's it's not a hadith verify. that's not a hadith this is a, a very authentic because even you see okay did did abraham uh, mention the kaaba well uh, the thing is uh, that's another topic i want to discuss the well abraham the according to the quran sacrifice. what do you mean this is another topic we, are to, we want to talk about abraham correct no the sacrifice specifically the story okay the sacrifice abraham. okay in sacrifice let's go to the sacrifice yeah Hmm. So the Quran has a different story. Hmm. Uh, it says that Abraham saw in his in in a dream hmm. he was uh, to sacrifice his son. Hmm. In the Torah, it says that God ordered Abraham hmm. to sacrifice his son. Hmm. This is this is a bit of bit of a different hmm. kind of story. Hmm. So we believe that the story has somehow been fabricated in the Torah, hmm. and uh, Allah is telling us the story again okay. in a different way that mm. is or correcting the. Do you know how to story. write? How to read, my friend? How to write and read? Yes, or you are illiterate like your prophet. No, I know how to, to write. Okay, well, the Quran in front of you it says this is a vision coming from Allah. So, yes, what do you yes. mean this is a fabrication? Is a vision coming from Allah, which means it's an order from Allah to do so? Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Um, uh, there's two different words used for the dream and the vision, right? My friend, does it say in the front of us in the screen? In the yep. front of us in the screen. I'm not making things up. Yeah, Verse let's, number let's 105. The... Yeah. You have indeed shown the truth of the vision. Surely those we do we reward the doers of the good. So Allah yes. is saying to, uh, to Abraham, this is a true vision. And what you saw is a true. That's mean no, what he wait. saw. Okay, let, let us let us make it simple. Which interpretation you like me to read for you? And the thing is, and the thing is, the thing up, is, the wait, thing wait, is, wait, the thing wait, is, wait, wait. you do not know Islam. You, you you claim that you converted to Islam, but yet you do not yes. know. You don't want any scholar to explain the verse for you. Why? No, because uh, it's not how we read the Quran. No, no, this, this is, is how you read the Quran. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Your no, pro even your prophet he ordered you to go by what the scholars they say, not what you do, are. You a yeah, scholar? Do you, know, do you know how to read Arabic? Do you know blindly. how to do you know how to read Arabic? Not blindly. We, we don't blindly follow scholars. Do you know? Do you know how to read Arabic? It's taklid. 
No, I don't. Uh, I okay. Learned, uh, so, some, so I, I, okay. How you know that this is not the order of Allah? It's in front of you. Allah saying, "This is a true vision coming from me to you." Okay. The whole story hmm. from the beginning. It says dream, right? Okay. The vision is another word. Okay. Right. Okay. So the vision is something else. That's hmm. my understanding of the the verse. We can go through it because uh, my understanding is that uh, the son of Abraham thought that this was from Allah. Right, the dream. So mm. he said to his father, "Do what Allah has ordered." Right, mm. and Abraham made his son prostrate before God, mm. make him, him put him in down on his forehead, mm. and then this is the vision from Allah. Right, mm. not the not the dream that was from Shaitan, not from Allah. The dream. So the dream is coming from Allah or from Shaitan? The dream that he's going to sacrifice his son is from Shaitan. Oh, it's from Shaitan. Okay, who is this? Yes. Who, you know, I'm not insulting you. I want you to give no. me one Islamic scholar in the world. I agree with the, you. No, how, how can, how can, how can <laughs> I? How can you I, know, I, this, I mean, this is. Oh, Islam, no, 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 you're making right? me laugh at you now. No, you see, no, you, in you, order you, to give me something. No, 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 no. If you are the only Muslim, hold on, hold on. You have a big mouth. You don't let me talk. Let us speak with respect. Let us speak with respect. Let us speak with respect. Right. So we cannot talk in the same time. You're acting like we weird. Now, if you cannot show me one Muslim agree with you, what kind of Islam you I converted to? Agree with me, who is I the Muslim who agree with you? Show me the name of one scholar in the world agree with you. Uh, I can't. I can't uh, necessarily name the scholars. Why you cannot? Why you cannot? Are you saying all the scholars in the world agree with me? They don't agree with you. I know most of them agree with the Torah. No, my friend, not points. most. I not challenge you to obvious. show me one, to show me one scholar says that this is a dream was from Shaitan. Yeah, that's where the discussion has gone from me being a Muslim and you wanting me to go out of Islam, right? My friend, I am asking you, challenge in the front of everybody. If you are truthful in what you said, that this is a it's dream was from Shaitan. This is a dream from Shaitan. Can you show me one scholar agree with you? Well, I have a I have a hadith that says that bad dreams are from shaitan and good dreams are from Allah. Okay, bad that, dreams, good dreams, bad dreams come from shaitan. Okay, let us go. Let us go with those. Okay, hold on. So you accept you accept the hadith? That hadith, yes. Oh, only that hadith you accept? No, not only that. Many okay. hadith I accept, but never if they go against. My the, friend, my friend. Quran. So when you say uh, not only that hadith, can you give me how you say to me? How you can trust a hadith to be as trustworthy for you? Uh, we can look at the hadith mm. and we can uh, We have base principles like we, we never believe that God is evil. We mm. never believe that God does injustice. We never believe that the uh, Okay, let us see if your God do injustice or not. Messengers. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on You see you are you are yeah. mixing things, uh, things up. I say to you give me a proof and you say this is injustice first of all the God of the Christians did not let his uh, Abraham kill his son did he I know I know okay no, I know now here here we have a problem my friend Allah can say to Ibrahim don't kill him I did not say that to you but he said the opposite he said this is a true vision he did not say this is a false vision from the devil as you claim he no, confirmed the vision he says indeed this is the truth in this vision no, you're you're jumping from the dream to this and, and uh, my friend the dream is the vision Do you see the word vision? Do you know what the word vision mean? Yes, okay, what the word vision mean explain to me it means that it was a vision uh, What vision mean is that a dream is it no. possible to be a dream? No, not if Allah uses two words for the same uh, huh? this, Allah did use the same word for vision and dream in this my, my, okay, hold on. Do you know what, what the word in Arabic? Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the, the word in Arabic is ru'ya. What you saw. Yeah. It doesn't say even the word vision. It says what you saw. What he saw where? Okay. He saw in the what dream. Is the word? Okay. Or ru'ya. Here we go. Ru'ya. Ru'ya. Here we go. In front of you. In front of you. In the screen. Okay. Ru'ya. Check that. Mm. Okay. Check the Arabic on the dream and the vision. Uh, which words are used? Because I. I my 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 friend, my friend, my oh, friend. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let, let, let us go with you. Let us say Shaitan. He gave Abraham a dream. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, well, hold on, hold yeah, on, hold on. Dream. Are yeah. you saying Shaitan? He can give you a bad dream. Yes. Yes. Bad okay. Dream, yeah. And you believe in that, right? Right. 
and then the dream will make you do bad stuff correct because Abraham here not he built, no. okay no Abraham no. here according to you he decided to kill his son because of a bad dream no no we didn't decide that it says what do you mean it, it says that uh, he, he made him his son prostrate before God right my friend, did Abraham try to kill his son and then your God supposedly he sent a ransom? Yes or no? Uh, I don't believe that there, there was a ram ransom. Either. It's in the front of you. Are you saying to me this is a fabrication too? Uh, it doesn't say... Uh, the, the, in my understanding, the, the sacrifice will be is is uh, shaitan. It's not uh, the what 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 shaitan? What shaitan? It says what they know who be that Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you saying to me that Allah he killed shaitan? Yes. Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Well, it's it's from a couple of videos and what couple of videos? Show me, show me, no, show me. Where do you get this from? Do you have your prophet saying yeah. that to you? Okay. Tell me where you get the ram from on this. Hmm? It says it's it says what they know who be that Hina Okay. Is and your the, God hold on, hold on, hold on. Is your yeah. is your God usually usually he used to give ransom and he give a ram? Yes or no? Uh, can you show me maybe some somewhere? I am asking you before I say. show you. Is it usually is it usual for God, your God? To ask for for uh, 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 let us say for slaughtering for sacrifice yes or no? I don't remember everything, uh, but I'm maybe, not asking you, know, you to remember. I'm asking you: Is it usual in Islam that your God asks for sacrifice? Yes or no? No, but I, I, I say I've told you I'm not sure. Okay, okay. It's a who is the first man? Let us make it simple. Who is the first man who did sacrifice in the history of Islam? Uh, well, it's off topic, I guess. This but is not off the topic. This is the topic. No, but the topic is is Abraham. This and, is the topic, and, and we are talking about the topic. And don't change the topic. Chapter five, verse number twenty-seven. Who is the ones who gave sacrifice to Allah? Uh, five seventy-one. I can check it up. Hmm. Just so we are. But I wanted mostly to discuss the. The, the verses and and maybe give my my understanding on the, the, how the, I the first of all you, you are no one to give your understanding that is funny you are trying to establish your own cult and you claim to be to you claim to be a Muslim wait, you are not a Muslim wait, wait, you are a fabricator wait according to whom according to according to all Islamic because your prophet he said right that my nation will not agree upon something wrong so if the whole nation agree about something which is the ram and that Allah is the one who ordered Abraham to do so that's mean Muhammad here is saying what what is right that Abraham is the one who did that because he said my nation will not agree upon something wrong so what you are saying to me that all the nation of Muhammad agree upon something wrong and you are the one who come with something new which is not that's, what the nation agree upon that's not really necessarily my case I mean uh, mm. if someone follows the but Jews, you but you remember Jews, you right? fail you fail to show me one proof like, I mean, how in the world do you come to this conclusion that it's a shaitan who made Abraham think this way? Do you have a proof? Well, uh, because uh, Allah doesn't uh, order evil. Uh, uh, your God is about evil. Everything about him is about evil. Well, that's another topic. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Either topic. No, and this is a topic. You just mentioned right. it. You, because when I ask you what is the reasoning, you don't believe that Allah is the one who did that. You say Allah don't order all evil, but Allah is about evil. Where does it say that Allah okay let evil? me ask you who is the one who misguide people is it shaitan or Allah no but it does it isn't evil right what who is the one who misguide people no, it, Allah it or evil. shaitan if, if Allah misguides someone it isn't evil right if it's, it's, not, it's, it's not evil, evil it's not evil no no why is it evil he can do so what do so that. what shaitan do then able. so what shaitan do you, you know when you say to me that Abraham he received a a, 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 a a dream from the devil and to make him do something evil yeah and what is evil son. what is evil kill his son okay right hold on so you are saying to me if we if, if you kill something if child you kill us if you kill your son it's, okay it's no child sacrifice is evil correct yeah absolutely all right that's wonderful
So when your God, he says, قاتلوهم يعذبهم الله بأيديكم. And they come to Muhammad and they said, we are killing their children while they are with them. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following story. Do you know the story of Al-Khadr? Uh, because maybe uh, uh, you can talk about it. it's coming off topic. Though. No, we Sorry. are not going off the topic, my friend. Because in the Quran, in chapter 18, verse number 74, and you can read the after, you will see that in chapter 18, 74, and chapter 18, verse number 80, the Prophet of Allah, Al Khadr, he killed the child because in the future he will not be good to his parents. This is called child sacrifice. And you are the one who said that Allah will not allow such a thing. This is your Quran and this is your translation. It's not mine. So when they arrive, Allah, he sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr. So when they sent, we went until they went a boy. He slew him. Musa have he said to him, you have slain an innocent person. What you, why you did that? You did a man slaughter. Certainly you have done something evil. Do you see the word evil? This is evil. And there you will you will see that Allah, uh, 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 supposedly he sent uh, Musa to learn wisdom from this man, Al Khadr, who is his best servant, who knows a lot more than Al uh, uh, Musa himself. And look what Allah said here. And as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared lest he should make disobedience. And this is why he slaughtered him. Do you see it? Uh, I haven't studied this. Hey, 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 hey. You are talking to me, really. I mean, like a kid. What, don't tell me. I, I, I don't tell me. I have not studied but this. That's, that's, you are the one who said to me, evil. if you slaughter a kid, if you slaughter a kid, this is evil, and this is your God explaining why the kid is okay to be slaughtered. What do you say? Uh, I, I, hey, I, hey, hey, hey. I mean, give me the answer. Stop the being. Hey. I mean, like you are like a woman in Britain in the delivery room, but nothing is coming out. E, it's yeah, a boy. It's I a can, boy. I, even Musa says to him, even Musa says to him, you did something evil. Do you see it? You I did something evil. Point. So yeah. it is did evil. Allah say he did evil. Huh? Did Allah say that Allah did evil? Uh, Musa, what are you talking about? Yes, he said that. No, Musa, saying, Musa, yeah, Musa you are the one who said to me, look how hypocrite you are. You are the one who said to me, if you slaughter a child, you are doing something evil, aren't you? Yes or no? Yes, if you okay. If you sacrifice, is uh, is this yeah. guy? Yes, this is a sacrifice because he will not be good to God. So we kill him. This is a sacrifice for God. When you kill the children of somebody, just because in the future they will leave Islam, and how this guy he knew he will leave Islam because Allah told him. So even before you commit the crime in Islam, just because you are a child who became an infidel, we kill you. And you are the one, don't be a hypocrite. You are the one who said to me that killing, sacrificing a child is evil. And this is exactly what your God did. And even Musa is confirming that you slow an innocent person. He commit no crime yet. How in yeah. the world you judge a person for, for no crime? This is against justice. He did not commit a crime. But because in the future he is going to leave Islam, so now we slaughter him? I can look up on this, but... No, you cannot look yeah. up on him now. You no, want to look um, now. You want to look up. Don't don't change the topic. Islam, you right? see, you are that's, getting you are getting busted. busted. This is what Islam yeah, is. Yeah, this is what it. Islam is. You said to me, Abraham, he did not have a dream because there is no way Allah will say to him, kill your son. At no, least the son I, of Abraham, dream, shut up, hold on. The, yeah. Killing the son of Abraham, Abraham, his son, at least he was not a kid according to Islam. He was a man. Here we have a baby child. He was playing with the kids. If we go and read the Islamic interpretation, you will see how they slaughter him with no mercy. So you are a person who try to avoid the truth by jumping around in, in the bushes and you say, okay, I don't want to read it because simply I want to study that. It's in front of you. Study it. Give me I what you think. Study this. Uh, no, you study it now. You know, no, you give me an answer now. To, what, what, what happened? What happened? Tell me what happened. what happened. What happened? What happened? Why now you don't want it to talk about take it? Two minutes to, to figure out uh, such deep. Why? Uh, oh, no, you can search right? deep right now. How many years you want yeah, me to yeah, give yeah. you? How many years you want me to give you? You see, when you as a Muslim, you, you claim to be a Muslim. When you learn about the Quran, now you said you want to search. You will search where? I want to search up the, the verse that you're. You will search where? Deep, right? No, 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 no. You will search where? The scholars? Here we go. The scholars in front of us. 
You want to search the Quran? I showed you the Quran. No, no, shut up. Listen, listen, you are being hypocrite. When you say I'm going to search, search where? Where? Can you me where you want to search? Where I want to research this this topic? Where where what the books you will read to find the answer? Yeah, which books you will read? No, but Allah give guides those. Uh, <laughs> get lost, get lost, get lost. You know you aren't a man enough. You are just a kid. You are stupid. You are mental. No, okay. Because simply okay, you Allah you don't have the courage. Allah. You don't have the courage to tell me where you will search for the answer. Allah lead you. Who are you? Your God, Allah Himself, He did not need Muhammad. You're a prophet. Right? Did, did so a... Listen, you know your God, He have no knowledge. Your God, He says that the sperm of the women, lying, right? the sperm of the women, hold on. Receivers. What kind of God? He, 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 he shut up. What kind of God? He said to you, the women have a sperm coming from their ribs. You see, you're going through a lot of. You, you are the one who said of... knowledge. I'm, I'm jumping with you. You are the, you are the one like a monkey, jump from place to place. You say to me, Allah give knowledge. What knowledge? Your God even don't remember which one He created first, the earth or the heaven. Your God do not know how He created the human being. Your God do not know how how the human is made. He's, even He says that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood, and then the congealed blood will become a loom, and then the loom will become a bones, and the bones we we, we close it with with with, with, the, with the skin. That is stupid. Even donkeys yeah, don't say that's, that. That's your uh, interpretation. Sir. This is not my interpretation. This is what the Quran is saying. Stop being a donkey. The Quran is saying that. Oh. Do you want to show you? Do you want me to show you? Don't tell me I'm saying that. Don't tell me. Don't lie. Don't don't ever dare to say I am saying that. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are not discussing. I'm showing you. Here we go. Look how he slaughtered him by sticking his throat with the knife or laying down by tearing his head. And his hand or by his hand by smashing his head against the wall what's wrong with you so uh, one of the things that you, you brought up was apostasy death penalty right that he was gonna leave Islam so they they, they he is a kid right? he did not leave Islam my donkey how you can isn't it the Quran says to you you have to be just isn't it the Quran says to you you pay for your sin isn't it you Muslim you say to us how Jesus he will pay for your sin, but he is honest He did not commit sin yet. So how the one who did not commit sin he pay for sin yet This is a lot of different topics right? No, it's not a different topic the guy did not commit sin. He is a child He's a boy and Allah is a sponsor in that Allah. He have no problem with that Allah is the one who inspired al-khadr and Allah is the one is talking here is not even al Khadr is talking. So what kind of God he says such a thing? Uh, I, can, I can definitely read up on this uh, 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 Definitely my friend the, when you talk the, about Islam, the, let me teach you something right? Let me teach you something. Let me, let me teach some, you something some, uh, you, you are being a stupid I'm not insulting thing. you. You are being a stupid you are creating no, your own version of Islam. No, you are a stupid. You are a balloon. You are a balloon of gas of thought. No, no, no. Get lost. Don't don't call me again. Don't call me again. I have no time for stupidity. When you come to me and you say I became a Muslim, that is Islam. If you have your own version of it, this is a stupidity. This is not Islam. I cannot find one person in the world agree with you about what you said. So you are a certified donkey from different kind. So if they are donkeys, you decide to be a mule. This is your business. So don't call me says I'm a Muslim. You are not. That is your lie. Shaitan, he said to Abraham, slaughter. Isn't it the Quran said that my followers, you have no authority over them? Except the one who follow thee, which means shaitan, he cannot misguide and he cannot make people do bad things unless they are bad anyway. Hmm? And you will notice here how stupid his argument is. He want to give, an, when I show him the, the Islamic interpretation, he says to me, oh, this is your own interpretation. Suddenly this kid, he know what Islam is about and this is my interpretation. All the Quran confirm what we are saying. Look what the Quran says in the stupid book and the yellow pages of Allah. 
inna ibadi laysa lakum laka alayhum sultan my servants my slaves you have no authority over them except the bad ones the criminals so in order for shaitan to be able to control Abraham's mind to the point Abraham he want to kill his son he have to be from the evil doers he have to be satanic himself because the Quran says you have no authority over any of my followers uh. Okay, we have a guy here, a Muslim. Wanna... Let's see. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. What is your question, my friend? You are a Muslim. Can you... Yes, can you show me where it says that the sperm is formed behind the backbone and the ribs? Okay, if I show you that, you will leave us now, my friend. <clears throat> No, no, no. I want to see it first. So, yeah, I mean, okay, no problem. I mean, I will show it to you. But if I show it to you, is that will make any difference for you, or just uh, you're making request? Just to, you think this is like a, a, a radio no, no, show no, no. for playing songs, and you are asking I'm me to play a song for you? No, no, no. I'm going to bust you. Oh, you want to bust me? Okay, I like that. What if I bust you? What will happen then? I want to show show me show me where it says. Okay, here we go. It's in the front of you on the screen. I can't see it. Read it. It doesn't say sperm. It says what? In verse number six, it says it's a gushing fluid which make babies. It doesn't say sperm. It it, says so what is fluid. the gushing fluid make babies? What is it the gushing fluid? Hold on, hold on. What is the gushing fluid coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women will make a baby and will go to the womb? Uh, does it say sperm? Yes, it says sperm. It says gushing fluid. My friend, gushing fluid. What is the? It says here, ma. The Quran will speak about the ma that he created you from ma. That is the sperm. So what is that? What is that? Will create the baby and is going to come from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. You explain to me. You are the smart person. Uh, is this from the Quran? This is from the Quran. Yes, this is the Quran. Show, show me the verse. Is the Quran in front of you? Here we go. So explain to me what is that thing will come from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, and it's a sexual fluid will go in the womb and will make the baby. Uh, that is jiggy jiggy <laughs> jiggy jiggy huh? you are the jiggy jiggy guy <laughs> may Allah do jiggy jiggy to you in the heaven and make it wide open for you stupid idiot let us see I think we have another Muslim <clears throat> hmm Let us see. Hello? Yes, my friend. How I can help you? Hey, Christian Prince. Are How you a Muslim? You I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? I bought your book. Uh, actually, a couple of your books. All right. And I noticed, I noticed there was quite a bit of uh, grammatical errors and mistakes. Okay, no problem. I mean, it's still the book is uh, is easy to understand, right? Yeah, but uh, it was is very poorly written. <clears throat> mm, which book you are talking about? Uh, two two different books. I don't have them right now uh, in front of me. I had them last week. No, well, I actually don't... Disposed, I disposed of them because they were. Ah. Oh uh, man! Anyway. Obviously, you are a Muslim who don't like my books. They are bad. Oh, I didn't say I was Muslim. So, what are you? Uh, 
that's beside the point that's you know, no no no, no. what are you what are you because all people all people they don't complain about my books except you and you are you are rich to the point no, you dispose no, the books you dispose them right you see, see that's not the, that's not the truth because a lot of people do you, you just said you dispose them right I disposed of them yes man that's mean okay can you make a video for us burning my books so we can see how you did that no I didn't burn them. okay can you uh, do you have a proof that you bought my books uh, what do you want to see a receipt no okay can you quote for me that as an example something from uh, uh, mm. from the end of the book something I said in the book at the end uh, you said a, a bunch of stuff that was like what like what what you remember what you remember neither one of the books because as I glanced at it, what what you remember what you remember no no you, you you see you are a liar you are a big fat liar you never have my books otherwise tell me what I said in my books tell me what Actually, I said in my books I'm explaining to you right now but you're interrupting me. okay tell me what so, I said in my book go ahead okay okay I will but hmm. you, you can't interrupt me go ahead go ahead go ahead ask me a question and hmm. ask me to answer you but then you interrupt hmm. me in the process hmm. so so yeah, I did. Uh, uh, I bought two of your books, and but they were both so poorly written that I never got to the end of either one of them. Ah, okay. Where are you? Where are you rich? The first five pages, one pages. No, I, I glanced through it like you would do any book that you're curious about, and you. So uh, how how far you did read? How far you did read? How many pages? Uh, I, I would say probably twelve to fifteen uh, pages per book. Ah, okay, okay. What you learned from the first to twelve pages? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what you learned from that first twelve pages? As an example, what I said. Give me what I said in the book of the session of Allah in the first pages. Well, what what I learned was that you your knowledge about Islam is uh, skewed and uh, mm. and and uh, it's just very poorly written. Your grammatical mm. grammar is very poor. Man, and, uh, man. So let let me you. let me ask you. Let me ask you. You are a Muslim sure. who is trying to say my books are not good, but that will not make people not to buy it. People buying it. Did you did you see the review of my books, my friend? No, for one, I didn't tell you that I was a Muslim. I no, 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 no. You are a Muslim. Otherwise, I want you to say to me right now that Muhammad is a false prophet. To believe you, at least just say that Muhammad is a false prophet. No, what I what I call to tell you. No, no, no. Why you don't tell me if you are not a Muslim? Why you don't say Muhammad is a false prophet? Why would I say that? Why not? I mean, do you is he a prophet for you or not? Either you are a Muslim or you are not. If you are not, obviously he's a false prophet for you. So is he a false prophet for you or not? What what? No, no, this is not a question. As long as you are not a Muslim, if you are honest about what you are saying, why are you not willing to say Muhammad is a false prophet? Why are you not willing to say that Santa Claus has nothing to do with Christianity? Well, no, Santa Claus is a true person, Muhammad is not. You are a false Muslim, you are a false person. You see, you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims. You see, guys, how many people now will go and purchase my book just because of this guy? He tried to scandal and to 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 make a false accusation against my books. Look at them. All of them, they will go and buy it because you cannot prove anything you said. You never bought my book. Yeah, sure I did. Okay, let me ask you. I want you right now to go to to Amazon and to make a review and post it right now. Can you? I'm driving right now, so I can't. No, 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 no. You can. You can. You can. You see, you can. Today is what? Today is what? Because I'm you see, you are a liar, my friend. You are a liar. Because if you buy a book, you tell me, okay, you tell me this is the account, is my account, and I made a review, and this is my name there, is going to say a verified purchase. But now you can do that. Let me teach you a trick. Let me teach you a trick. You can you can purchase my book now. You can purchase my book now. I will teach you a trick. And now you can make a review so you can prove your point. What do you think? Well. I'm driving right now, so I can't do it. My anything. friend, you can purchase it and what you are driving in Amazon by by the bus uh, cell phone. What are you talking about? Stop making fabrication and you okay. can make a review. So I you know Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul. You are being a stupid and you are being a donkey and you got busted. You are a Muslim and you don't you don't dare. Otherwise, okay, why you don't want to say Muhammad is a false prophet if you are a Muslim? What do you think about Muhammad? I want you to tell me about Christianity is what I want. You to see, say. I want to tell you about Christianity, no problem. But obviously, why you bought a book about Muhammad if you if you don't care for Muhammad? I was curious about what you had to say. Okay, about... you are curious about what I have to say now. After what you heard about what I say, after you heard what I said and what yeah, I have in my I, books, I, what I, do you think about Muhammad? What do you think about Muhammad? Tell me, what do you think about Muhammad? I don't, I don't want to talk to you about that. Why not? Why not? To... This is my topic. My book is about Muhammad. So now, after you did read my book, what is your conclusion? Is Muhammad a prophet or not? 
Okay, what well, I wanted to give you the opportunity to do My friend, I want to give you an opportunity to yeah. prove yourself to be a man for a second. Who is the wife who want to marry a man like you who don't dare to say I'm a Muslim? You are a shish kebab coward who don't dare to say he's a Muslim. You know, I remember you. Aren't you the one who, who called me before the guy who got busted? What do you mean? The guy who was arrested many times. What's his name, guys? What's his name? Anybody I remember the name? Anyone remember the name? Any, anyone remember? I, I, I think this is his voice. Who remember? Yeah, uh, Kenny, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny. Are you Kenny? Are you Kenny? I don't know anyone. Are you Kenny? Are you, are you Kenny? Are you Kenny? I don't know anyone named Kenny, but I want to. Ah, you do not know. Okay, let me ask you. The prophet in the front of us, this is not my book right now. Chapter 86, verse number 7 says that the women have a sperm coming from her bones and ribs. What do you say to that to Muhammad about that? Okay, so if you studied that, then you would know that uh, it's talking about the vertebrae and the fact that the the brain sends signals to the vertebrae. Wow! Uh, in, in order to ejaculate, but that's that's in the wow. Best. See, guys, he is not a Muslim. Now he is saying that Allah here he means the brain, but the, but your prophet saying the Quran saying that the sperm coming from the ribs. What the brain? Do you see the what the brain there? It is speaking about gushing flow, but don't tell me now this is a grammatically wrong and it's poorly written. This is Quran. Shame on you to insult your the book of your God. It says a gushing fluid coming from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So I want yeah, your I majesty know. with your perfect English to explain to us what's happening. What I want you to do is I want you to guide me to Christianity. Kenny, uh, Kenny, Kenny, Kitty, Kenny, Kitty. I don't want to guide you to Christianity. You, you fit perfectly there. You are following a God who teach you that there is a gushing fluid coming from the backbone of you and the ribs of your women. That's perfect. So, Mr. Yeah. Kinney, Mr. Kinney, the idiot who called me before and he got you busted. Why you know. are hiding? Why you are hiding your identity and why you don't answer? Here we go. This is a book. It's not poorly written. This is the Quran. This is the Quran. Be a man. Why the Quran says women have a sperm coming from their ribs? I, I want you to tell me how a father can be the son that he's the father of at the same time. No problem. I can't tell you that after you answer me. After answer me about answer me about the rips, I will answer you. No problem. You see, you see, you see, you are a fake person and everybody is laughing. And I'm very thankful that you called us. And now I do not know how many people they are going to call and purchase my book. Because when Muslims they slander my books, it's me. My books are wonderful. No, sir. You, your book is Well, you never bought my books. Prove it. Prove it. I challenge you right now. Okay, I, 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 ha I have, I have, I have a challenge for you. You go. No, 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 no. I want you to go, and show me a purchase. Uh, show me a purchase you did when you when you when you uh, when you bought my book. I'm driving right now. No, no. When you bought my book, when you bought it. Last week. Last week, guys. Did you hear it last week? What 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 date? What date? Uh, last week, last Tuesday. What's today? Last yeah, Tuesday. Okay, how, how many days took you to receive the books? Uh, about four days. Okay, I want you to do this. You go and you make, no, you make a copy of the email you receive of your purchase from Amazon. Because when you make a purchase of Amazon, they will send you an email, have the name of the product, the delivery date, yeah, yeah, and the purchase. Okay, I uh, want you I want you to post yeah, that in my Facebook page. Do, do you accept the challenge? <clears throat> Yeah, I'll do that, but I'm driving right now. No, 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 no. You are driving to, you know, I know you are driving. You keep saying I'm driving, but I guarantee you, you will never do that. Do you swear by Allah you will do that? Uh, why would I swear by Allah? I didn't tell you that I'm a Muslim. You are a Muslim. Swear by Allah you will do that. I want you to tell me about Christianity. See, you're a coward. I... You know, you have no proof. Okay, no, let us do this. Can you send me an email? Can you send me right now a snapshot and send it to my Skype? I will put it in the front of everybody that you bought my books. Not while I'm driving, I can't. Uh, you cannot. Okay, take a side. Stop. Stop driving. It's a challenge between me and you. You are a man, right? A man is offering you a challenge. Be a man. Take a side of the road. Stop. Stop. And take a snapshot of your email and send it to me right now in Skype. No, I'm on the freeway. No, I'm you are not in the freeway. You are in, you, 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 you are a free donkey, my friend. You are a donkey. You are a kinny. You called me before. I remember your voice and you got that's busted. That's the childish thing. To my say. friend, my friend, my friend. You are, a, you are a potato. Everybody is laughing at you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Let, okay, let, let us make it simple. Let us make it simple. The prophet, he have sex with seven years or six years old girl. What do you say about that? I said Joseph had sex with Mary. She was 12 years old. No problem. Show me the proof. 
I would say Solomon had seven. No, 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 show me the proof. Show me the proof. I show it to you from Sahih al Bukhari. Show me the proof. Is it is it the Quran says that Mary she was a virgin, you idiot? Is it the Quran says just to show you how donkey you are, just to show you how certified donkey you are? Isn't it the Quran says that Mary she gave birth to Jesus when she was virgin? I will tell you that David was a peeping time in the Bible. Abdul, right? you are a donkey and don't ever call me again. What a coward. I want to tell you that your book is uh, written poorly uh-huh okay uh it's really written written po poorly uh-huh <laughs> uh, oh boy <coughs> this is the guy you know he he came to talk to me before and he spanked badly but i mean look who is the one who is a muslim this is saying the quality of those people they have no dignity why somebody believe in a true God he is willing to lie and fabricate his stories just to defend his religion okay you are angry from a Christian Prince I understand but what kind of God he made you do that I mean this is the most stupid argument ever I heard Debate me, prove me wrong, etc. Yeah, this is a Kenny Kenny Boomer, Kenny Boomer, the one who arrested many times for uh, for uh, for uh, domestic violence. I remember him. What a kiddie kiddie. Yeah, right away when he called me, I remember the voice. I was like, uh, okay, this is my must be the same idiot. What a garbage. I am not a, I am you see I am I'm really happy that when Muslims they call me they are even willing to deny their God because they are terrified of Christian Prince do you see how a Christian Prince is terrifying to Muslims they deny their God that is exist hello hello I saw you robbing a bank earlier <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, this is the same guy. Yeah, this guy, by the way, this, this guy, he said, I saw you rub in a bank before. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for bothering you. That's why I called it. I just yeah. couldn't help it. I yeah. couldn't help it. <laughs> That's All right, bro. All right, sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, he called me before. He said, I, you, you rob a bank. A bank. I, know, I know you. <laughs> Well, he is a he is a person who spent a good time in jail for being whatever he is. So he think everybody like him. It's your prophet, my friend, who attacked caravan. Hmm? So if uh, if robbing a bank will make me look bad by fabricating a lie about me, well, isn't it your prophet who robbed a caravan? People going in the street, going from city to city, he attack them, he strip them, he take their money, he take their women, he take their camels. And you are trying to slander me by fabricating a lie? But this is what you Muslim says about your prophet, that he rab a caravan. Do we have any Abdul? Patience, CP. All the patient I have, and you are telling me patience, CP. Stay in my place for five minutes, you will lose your patience with all those crazy people. They are asking me to be patient. Patient, CP. Yeah, yeah, I know his name, Kenny Boomer. I know it's stupid. I mean, he, he, he got himself busted. Actually, if you want to watch, if you watch the video between me and him, the, the, the debate he called me, you would you would die laughing. Go watch it; it's in the in, the, in YouTube. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? We have a Muslim here, I think.
Hello? Yeah, um, uh, I have nightmares um, every day. And I don't hear you. Say, uh, can you get close to the microphone, increase the volume of your voice? S sorry, sorry. Um, I have nightmares every day. and you, you have nightmare every day? Yeah, I'm having trouble sleeping. Okay, drink camera urine, my friend. Sorry? The prophet, he said, drink camera urine. <laughs> what? Aren't you a Muslim? Yeah, uh, Shalom. Okay, you are a Muslim saying to me Shalom. That's weird. Did your prophet say drink camel urine? No, he doesn't say that. Okay. Are you? He doesn't say that. Okay. Are you Jiggy Jiggy guy? No, <laughs> he's a funny guy, but it's not me. It's not me. Okay. So what do you want to say to me? Why you call me now? Why you said to no, me just, you, um, you, you have right. you have all nightmare? Right. Or so how can I help you? Why you don't pray, pray to Allah to help you? Yeah, but I want to ask your approach. What would you do? You want to ask approach about what? Um, on jiggy jiggy. jiggy. Mm. I know from the first second that he is a jiggy jiggy guy. <laughs> we are having fun anyway. Stupid people. Let me open the IP finder so I can block you right away from your IP without even calling me. Hold on. All right. Try now. Do we have any Abdul? Jiggy Jiggy. I mean, look at the quality of the Muslims. This is this is those those are the Muslims. This is Islam. Kitty 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 Bomber and Jiggy Jiggy and the other guy who don't accept any interpretation for the Quran except his own. We are here for how many hours asking very simple question who is Allah waiting for an answer and I told you each time I name my video such a name the Muslims don't dare to call they will never call if they call only they call to insult to call names to fabricate lies but nobody want to answer us so now who is Allah Jiggy Jiggy Allah Jiggy Jiggy Kenny Boomer, Jiggy Jiggy Kenny Boomer, Kenny Boomer, Jiggy 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 Kenny Boomer. <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> I mean, if Allah is not God, how He knew that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone? Look here, the translate lions, lion. What lions? It is the backbone, the backbone, my friend. Unbelievable. You know what? I want to see what Ibn Kathir says about this in the English translation and compare it to the Arabic one. Shall we? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir is one of the best fabricators to defend Islam. He do his best to defend. All right. So, so let the man see what he is created. See from what he is created, from what he created. Wonderful. This is alerting man to the weakness of his origin. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, somehow the word origin appeared to me as gigi gigi, jiggy jiggy. From which was he created? The intent of it is to guide the man to accept the reality. If, 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 if. Let us go to the to the, the science now. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning a sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the woman. If, 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 this is deep. So the baby is created from a sexual fluid, my friend, coming from the man and the woman. I mean, this is science alone. I am so glad to learn this, that the women, she have a sexual fluid, which make the baby, and it is gushing fluid, bursting forth, which means the cum. I mean, don't you agree with me that this is science? Who can deny this? Come on, we have to be honest here. The women she have orgasm 
and there is a gushing fluid bursting out. I think Muhammad was watching too much porn. So it's a bursting forth. You know what the bursting forth mean? You know what the bursting. I mean, I know most of your English is bad. No, it's okay. It says coming out so strong, like a fountain, shooting. So the woman she have a bursting forth sexual fluid, and that will make the baby. Thus, thus, I like it. This does. The child is produced from both. By the permission of Allah, and don't forget the permission of Allah. You see, you cannot have orgasm if Allah did not give a permission. Mm -hmm. He have to give you a hand. And then Ibn Kathir continue. <clears throat> Proceeding, yeah, from between the backbone and the ribs. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue, oh mommy, oh mommy, oh mommy, oh mommy, oh, mommy, mommy bones. Bye guys, guys. I, I want every one of you to call the insurance company and put health insurance over your backbone because your sperm is there. Muhammad God, he never heard of something called testicles. Testicles. The God of Muhammad teaching us science that we have a gushing fluid coming from the backbone. Actually, this is true. Once I was playing with the friend karate, you know, like I was I am the one who taught Boros Lee karate, true story. And I did for him like some kung fu, ching pong, ha, and I hit him in the backbone. And since then. He have no babies. Very sad story. Don't ever hurt the man in his backbone. The guy even he cannot have a sperm no more. Because the backbone is leaking. And all his sperm coming down from his, you know. And not only that. Do you see the word ribs? Now I know why many people like to eat ribs. Mm. Ribs. Ah, so you eat ribs so you can get some sperm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you are telling me that Allah is not God. Are you crazy? Are you really crazy? Meaning, meaning, look here, the translator, he had the word loins, by the way, just to make it look nicer. <laughs> meaning, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Ooh, that's deep. I am really, really willing now to say shahada. And hold on, Dr. Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala When the Prophet Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina When the Prophet Dr. Muhammad, B.H.D. W.S.F.O.O. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say that. Oh, we have a Muslim. Hello? Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you, Mr. Hassan? Are you there? What happened? Oh, okay, sorry, uh, wrong caller. I just see you with me.
how in the world Muslims can accept this? And how in the world this is can be God? By the way, I'm, I'm receiving tons of uh, texts from people they left Islam as we speak. Proceeding from between the backbones and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, it is a fluid. And now he's talking about the women fluid is yellow and fine in texture take notes guys if any of you want to be a doctor or something you want to open a clinic islamic a clinic my friend take a note the women fluid is yellow muhammad he noticed that women when they have sex they have a yellow fluid in their vagina so muhammad he decide that this is their orgasm and this is their sperm and this is what make the baby come to exist so the women fluid is yellow and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them, i.e. their sexual fluid. Me. Why in the world you people are not converting to Islam yet? What's wrong with you? Look at this wisdom. Learn. Educate yourself. Find the truth. That is amazing. My backbone hurting me, guys. Do you think if I get married, I will be able to have a... <clears throat> I've, it hurt the backbone sitting in this chair. I'm being cheap. I have a cheap chair to be honest with you I don't want to waste two hundred dollars on a chair So I'm sitting in a very cheap chair and I think my backbone is not going to work when one day I get married now <clears throat> Allah please please Allah protect my backbone. This is the only bone I have Allah the rest of my bones are not important just keep this bone uh, 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 healthy and leave the best. I don't care about my fingers, about my toes, even my nose, brother. Allah, please, protect the backbone because I want to have babies. If we call Zach and Naik and we ask him, what do he think about this miracle? Ta-da-dun, ta-da-dun. Ta-da-dun, ta-da-dun. Ta-da-dun, ta-da-dun. Great print. I told you, don't ever call me again. But, but brother Zach and I, how you know it's me? I told you, my phone even starts thinking differently. You are the devil. I hate you. Hey, brother, we are reading Ibn Kathir here, and this is the Quran, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It says, women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. What do you say? This is absolutely true. And with the women are different from other women. You cannot compare between our women because they are holy. And your women, they are not holy. And this is why our women, they have a term coming from their ribs because they have holy, holy ribs. Uh, so you are saying because this is only for Muslim women? Absolutely. Uh, uh, why? Because our women, they are holy. Your women are holy? So are you saying the sperm location changed depending on how holy you are? Absolutely, this is true. And I will prove it to you. Other example, when my father had been sick with my mother, my mother, he noticed that he have a liquid is coming from her earth. My father, he thought this is the milk coming from her boobs. And later he discovered that this is not milk. It was a sperm. Uh, uh, but the prophet said it is yellow. Is it yellow or look like milk? This is depend what he eating. If he eat something yellow with, it's going to be yellow. If he eat ice cream, it's going to be white. But most likely, the prophet is true. It is yellow with. Thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> and the funny they say that Zakir Naik is a doctor. Where is Dr. Zakir Naik? Hmm? <laughs>
Uh, and by the way, why it is yellow? Is Muhammad talking about piss? <laughs> is that really what women have? It's is it yellow? Hey, I don't want to go in details, but I think there is something fishy here. I think Muhammad is his women they piss when they are having sex. Is it really yellow? I don't know. I'm not really an expert. I have no idea. I ask Allah uh, uh, burden. I am not expert like the Prophet and Allah. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow pages book. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Any Abdul? No? I will share with you what a Christian, uh, a Muslim actually, he is said to me in the Skype. But I will not show his name. Okay, let me actually to be sure. Maybe later I will show you. But anyway, this person here, he's saying to me that he left Islam. Uh... And the funny, uh, before he was calling me names, and now he is saying he's a Christian. <laughs> Let me show you all of his text. All of his text. But I will not show uh, his name. Let us see. Oh, hold on, let us see to be sure that his name will not appear. Still, his name will appear. Then let us see. Do this. This is what this guy he he said to me. November eighteen. It was Sunday. Actually, no, November sixteen. It was a Friday. Do you see the date? Okay, look what he said to me here. You would never debate Shamsi. Shamsi asked to debate you in a forum debate. Also, we own, we own Bethlehem. Your God was born. You don't believe in a flying carpet. You believe in a flying, in what? In believing in talking a snake. Hypocrite Lebanese man. <laughs> the same guy, the same guy. After he listened to my videos, I will go down and I will show you what he said. I think your YouTube down worldwide, brother. Continue speaking. We still watch you. But I can text. I will fix in five minutes. Then he continue. A brother CP. The word of the Lord Jesus created the heaven and the earth. Psalm 33 6. The Holy Spirit of God created the word. Job 33 verse 4. Some help a brother for Old Testament reference. So now this person, he uh, he accepted the Christianity. And actually he said here, let us show you what he said here. 
I'm just trying my best not to show his name by the way okay all right I have searching Christianity for uh, a week and I have left Islam because of you God bless you from the UK isn't it beautiful they call me names and they thought that Shamsi is a guy who can debate me. Shamsi, who is Shamsi? I mean, I'm, we are waiting for Shamsi. <laughs> the funny, the same guy was challenging me to debate Shamsi. He decided to leave Islam, and Shamsi now is history. Say hi to Shamsi. I'm happy for you, my friend, that you decided to leave Islam, and you became Christians, and you accepted Jesus. November 16, he was saying to me, I challenge you to debate Shamsi. January 10 2019 he said he is he become a Christian how long it take three months eh, almost less all right Yeah, we are working in the Spanish version of the translation and we are waiting for the, the person who is translating to finish it. I did not uh, hear from that person for a while. I hope soon we will have it ready. And then we can have the book in, in Spanish, my books. I hope so. <clears throat> we have my book now in French, in German, in Swedish, uh, in Dutch. Uh, uh, for sure in English uh, and we hope soon we will have it in Spanish I am a Muslim lady I, I don't know you are a Muslim lady I don't think so I think you are you are Gigi <laughs> let us see You did not answer, Gigi. No, this is not. Uh, let us see the IV. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kifik. I'm fine. Who is this? Um, Hey, Arabi. أنا رفقت هذول الاثنين هذا رفقت صاحبك. What is that? قال لي إذا بس أنا ما بعرفك بس قال لي إذا أنا بحكي عربي بده يعني. You don't speak Arabic. ما أدري بده يعني ترجم لي ما أدري كلمات هيك. But your Arabic is weird. What kind of Arabic you speak? شنو؟ شنو؟ What you know? I don't understand what you are saying. Speak to me again. Uh, I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. So how I can help you? You said you do not know me. Why you are calling me? What how I can help you? Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. He called his friend, girlfriend to call me. <laughs> uh, this guy, he have many whore around. <clears throat> Whore in the field. Do we have any Abdul? But anyway, she can help us to understand how the yellowish uh, liquid is yellowish, the sexual fluid. Maybe uh, we, we we lost the opportunity. Anyone want to explain to us what's happening here?
guys are you having fun be honest with me isn't it this is the best program ever you can find in YouTube you learn you educate yourself your love which means you will get fat because you love a lot sorry to say that but loving bring health and you know it will take stress out of your heart which is good at the end of the day so we have a we have a good time don't we hello I don't know you oh, I want to talk to you uh -huh, okay I mean if I if I make an admin to speak beside me in the in the show I will get millions of Muslims to join our program once in pal talk I saw a big room a huge room I mean like there's 800 people in it it's paid like you know you pay for those rooms and I became curious why this room is so big I mean this is a lot of people you know chat room so I went there and there's a there's a the text is going crazy in Arabic move it move it move it move it move it to the right move it to the left up 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 a little bit I mean and the people are going crazy so I became curious to see what's happening so I look at the camera to see what is in the, this camera there's only one camera in the whole chat room there was a girl she had the camera in her foot honest to God it's her foot and 1,000 Abdul going crazy can you move it to the right can you move to the left it, no no keep it right there right there right there right there don't, don't move it don't move it why you move it why you move it <laughs> oh boy yeah do we have any uh any abdul knows who is allah we have our sister here she will help you to find Allah <laughs> it's a muta time anyone any Muslim he would like to call us Yeah, anyway, we let you know this religion is very stupid and what make it more funny is the, the when somebody decide to defend it You know what I mean? That would make it more funny and more stupid because when you defend something stupid you will look really an idiot And look at the Muslims until now we could not find one Muslim He can say something useful to defend his cult not even one I think I will do if a Christian prince he saw his toes. I am sure a lot of Muslims will come. Christian prince, did you see his toes? Did you see his toes? You know, <clears throat> the toes of Christian prince. Actually, I made I made a video if I remember, uh, the one I was uh, debating with uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Who remember it? And then you should see how many people they said to me, we saw your hand. We saw your hand. I was looking to see the face of a Christian prince reflection in the phone. <laughs> Let me look for the video. I mean, <laughs> I was laughing. I, I, they don't, I mean, they don't, they are not saying something bad. I mean, just because be, people became curious to know who is this guy, you know? Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. I want to show you the video. I will put it in the screen. So this is me. I was in France. Let us play the video. Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all. This is uh, a Christian Prince with you and right now I am in France. Uh, it's very nice and peaceful and just wanted to record this uh, short video 
to share with you where I am right now. All right. Jehovah, those Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, do you speak English, guys? Yes. You guys are Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Ah, all right. <laughs> you know, how come you have a wrong translation for the Bible? Uh, we don't have it here. I know, but how come you have wrong translation? Oh. I saw your Why translation you, is very wrong. Why do you say translation? Because I know the original translation, how it is, I mean the text. When you have um, a translation that says um, people can kill and you have it. Now here this guy, he thought I'm a Muslim because I look like a terrorist. You know what I mean? <laughs> right away he starts saying, when you see a translation, you say you can kill. I mean, what, what are you talking about, you know? So he looked at me. Obviously, this guy is a terrorist. He's from Al-Qaeda or ISIS. Allah knows best. And, you know, his beard and his mustache and his unbelievable. What the heck? And I wasn't actually planning to talk to them. That kill. Do you think what that... kill? I'm talking about translation. What kill? Hmm? If you open uh, John chapter 1, verse number 1, mm -hmm. it says in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was yes. with God, yes. and the Word was a God. With in your God. book. In your book. Mm. If you read the rest of the chapter, you can... No, no, how, how God became a God. How God became a God. A God. You know what a God means? It means there's many gods. No. Do you believe in one God or many gods? Just... I can, I have uh, King James version. It's yeah. not good on session. It's not. No, it's no. Not Jehovah's honest. Witnesses. They don't have King James. You use it's your own a, translation. That's not a problem. No, it's a problem you, because that will change the meaning. No, it's not. I saw Jehovah's Witnesses book. Which book is yours? If you read. The, okay, can you read for me from your book? You, from your book in English. I can. All right. Does it say a God or it says God? In the beginning was the world, uh -huh. and the world was with God, and, and the world was a God. A God, see? Yes. How that can be? Hmm? What a God means? There's many and gods. When you say a God, it means... Or was divine. My friend, System. when you say a, a man, yes. it means he's just a man out of many. A God, it means he is a God out, out of many. How it's, many gods you have? It's a small letter. I it's understand. Not, it doesn't matter. Not, it doesn't matter how big it is. Mm. When you say a God, it means there is many gods. Do you believe in many gods? Many creator with divine essence. Many creators. Yes. You who, have angels, who is the first? Who is the second? You, who is the third? You have, you have angels. Angels are creators. Yes. Created who? But what kind of creature? No, no. Angels are created what? Hmm? The angels are creators. You said. Created no, what? No, no. Okay. That's Who is the creators? You said many that's... creators. <laughs> no. You just no. said that. You just no. you just said there's there many creators. Mostly... Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Of course. Uh, sorry, I don't understand very it's well. Okay. okay. When you say a uh, god, you have a god uh -huh. with a small letter. Okay. See, you can see. Right. Yeah. What you, what you say, my friend? G. It's not about a god with a big letter or a small letter. Mm. A God, and you are the one who says God with a small letter. That means there's many gods. But if you read, um, who is the God with a small letter if, you are talking about there? If you look at the Greek, who is the God? A... Let me make it simple. Who is the God you are talking about in that verse? Mm. A God, the one with a small letter. Who is that God? Mm. Is that the? <laughs> is that Jehovah? No, no. Who is that? Uh, with, with, with Jehovah. Who? With Jehovah. Who? Who? Yes. who? Mm. Who is the one with Jehovah? Just, just read. Oh. I, I don't know why you don't answer my question. Who is the God which is with Jehovah? With, you just said with. With, with Jehovah. Yes, with Jehovah. Yes, yes. That God, who That's is who is he? Who is he? That God. Uh, by the way, guys, I can translate for you what he said in French. He was saying, Lou, uh, Lou, 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 uh, Lou, Lou. Uh, I mean, the question is very simple. Who is that person? You say he's a, a god. I mean, how hard it is. And they are discussing now, like, well, uh, what will we say to him? So you are standing in the street trying to teach people about your god, but you do not know a very simple question. In the first verse in, your, in, in the book, you claim it's your book. I mean, I thought only Abdul there, but there's many Abdul, including Jehovah's Witnesses. If you don't mind, I'm recording a video. Is that okay? Hmm? Is that okay? My camera is on. 
I'm just recording. I was recording without you actually. I was recording mm -hmm. the city. So Sorry. who is the god? Who you is the god? On squirrels on our website. Who, but who is the god you are talking about? And now people start calling me. You believe it? I am with Jehovah's Witnesses and I receive calls. I don't have to answer to recording. Oh, you don't want to talk a recording? You, you can't Why? Is it, is it a shame? Why you don't answer me? Who is that god there? I don't want to be recorded. You don't have okay. ever asked for. You I'm not. I'm heard. not recording your face. I'm recording our talk. It's not a prayer. I all right. No. I, I oh, obviously, you have no. I, you have you, no answer. You, you have no are, answer. If you want to you write have no, something, you about have no answer. You can have answer. I know. I went there many times. Uh, if you have a question, go and search our website. But they have no answer always. It's bit same as you. Of this same, website as, same as you. You don't have answer. Who is the God with Jehovah? Who is the God with Jehovah? You just said he is God. You have done Who is that God? You have done swells on this one. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> he will not answer. And then I changed my plan. I said, let me hit harder. So I decided to come back. The God with Jehovah. All right. I came back. Those are Jehovah's and they saw me coming away. from I came far back away. To them. The they, second they, they see left. me, I coming back. They decide to take their stuff and run away. What a coward. They, they saw me coming to them. They took their stuff and they left. All right, all right. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Also, you talk to Hebrew Israeli. No, I never spoke to them. You know, actually, I wasn't planning even to talk to them. I was just recording in the street and I saw them in my way. You know. There's, you know, like uh, always, almost wherever I go, I encounter somebody talk about Muslims, non-Muslims, etc. But not always you are recording. But I remember one of the most funny things happened to me. I was in the Philippines in the elevator, and I was speaking in the phone in Arabic. And then, you know, when you go up, uh, up in the elevator, you lose the connection. So when I finished, the guy, he because a guy in front of me, Filipino, he heard me speak in Arabic, so he thought I'm a Muslim. So he said to me, Assalamu alaikum, brother. I said, Alaikum assalam, Abdul. <laughs> and he said to me, MashaAllah, how you know my name? I was looking at him like, What? You should see his eyes. His eyes wide open. MashaAllah, how you know my name? I said, uh, Well, all of you, Abdul, aren't you? <laughs> he said, So, your brother, you are a Muslim? I said, No. I am not. I'm not stupid to be a Muslim. <laughs> he said, "What? Are you saying to me he's stupid to be a Muslim?" I said, "Yeah, sure. You want me to show you?" So we took the elevator down. We changed my direction. We went like there's a garden. We sit with him for like I think maybe two hours, something like that. It was very funny. But the the most funny moment when he said to me, "Mashallah, how you know my name?" <laughs> I <laughs> wish I wish I have a camera on recording that moment. You should see his face. His face, like his eyes, is like coming out. Like he was like surprised. Like what? Maybe this is maybe this is Jibril. He must be Jibril. How he knew my name? How in the world he knew my name? You know? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> all right. All right. We have the same Gigi. Gigi, Gigi today is having nothing to do except is except texting me. He changed names. Gigi goes, Gigi come. Stupid Gigi. Do we have any Abdul? All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. And as you see, Islam is a very stupid cult. Now, who want the reference for for Ibn Kathir when he speak about uh, the rips? You wanna, you want that? Let me send you, send you the link so you can show it to the Muslims and teach them the wisdom of Allah and the science of Allah. I mean, the Muslims they made tons and thousands of videos about the science in the Quran. Why they don't make a video about this? And not even a single one of it is truthful. Not even a single one. And we made a challenge many times before. You know, as you see.
anyway i want to say thank you guys for being here i hope we have a good time i know we have 1000 people still watching and i know that you guys you want to you like to stay more but i did not eat since yesterday and uh, i am worried about my backbone if i don't eat to be honest with you imagine you don't eat since the last 24 hours and then your backbone does not function and you are waiting all your life for the moment when your backbone will function. We should make a, a special time to pray for the backbone protection. Hmm? Unbelievable. Anyway, what Arab eat? My friend, you don't want to, we don't want to know what we eat. We eat with our hands, we don't use forks or spoons. If you try it, half of the rice will go in your stomach. Uh, sorry, in your chest. It's very funny. Like when you when you give somebody, he don't know how to how the Arab eat, you know, because they use their hands. So they hold the rice in their hand and they squeeze it and then they throw it in their mouth. But if you are a foreigner, you do not know, and you try to eat like them, I guarantee you that eighty percent of the rice will not go in your mouth. Will go on your you know in on your shirt so what Arab eat that's a good thing to say actually Arab eat is uh, food is very limited and but now because of the money and the oil they meet they eat better than maybe all of you eat especially in rich countries but before the food was very simple uh, they eat uh, Shair what Shair is I need to translate Shair not the, not the flower one the other one then you know the cheap one and the palm tree uh, so the, from the shair they make uh, they make the bread and the, from the fruit they have ajwa and palm tree date and animals you know usually they don't slaughter animals because they are how they live uh, 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 an arab man he don't slaughter his goat to eat it uh, unless you have too many or usually in occasions you know what I mean uh, so the food is very limited and um, or as, as an example the 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 uh, uh, they eat lizard uh, lo, lo, uh, you know insect like insect of the desert or whatever they can you know I mean their food is limited they don't have they don't have any kind of fancy food this is why you see the Quran promising them uh, that you will have uh, bird meat in the heaven bird meat uh, because it's very hard to hunt birds at, at that time you know it's not like now you, you have a gun you can shoot the bird from far away so hunting bird is was not easy so the bird the bird meat is the best to eat and they are not people who will grow chickens in the yard they are just Arab living in the desert, so their their food is limited to goat milk, cheese from the milk, let us say, uh, and the goat only. If the goat may usually is dying or old, they slaughter the goat, not something young, uh, or a camel, you know, broke his leg, so he is useless, so they slaughter him. Uh, somebody telling me about he saw this in instagram that the cockroaches attacking the cabin my friend i posted a video about it already and we made a video about it muslim they say that this is a sign of the judgment day well maybe the muslim do not know that cockroaches attack the kaaba every year but what happened this year somehow maybe because the the internet became more popular and cell phone is all over they were able to leak the video of inside the Kaaba where the cockroach is all over but the cockroaches always attack the Kaaba but maybe this here is too much unusual you know maybe this is like uh, exceed the, the the normal limit anyway I, I'm sure Allah will find a solution to defend his Kaaba against the cockroaches there's no way Allah will wear the will lose the war especially that Allah, he he told the Saudi government to purchase a lot of uh, uh, like uh, spray from the Western, from the Kuffar, to fight the enemy of Allah, which is the cockroaches in these cases. 
and I'm sure Allah will reward the, the will win the war after buying all the, 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 the spray they need from America by the help of uh, Trump yeah he need bug spray because Allah obviously he cannot do it himself anyway guys I think we had a good time together today and it's time for me to go I really appreciate you all and I hope we have a good time and we learn something good for today and maybe I should not use the name the title who is Allah anymore because as you seen each time I use this name no Muslim call because they don't know how to answer this you notice that always so I want to say thank you may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you bye bye